Hey, how's it going? I'm Sam Birkinshaw and welcome to this channel. So I'm here to explain about the content of this channel. I am an actor who probably, well, some of you may know me as Spider-Man and fictional version of myself in my TV series. I'm also a creator and a leader of this channel. Director, producer, script editor, filmmaker and so on. Feel free to have a look at these uh, chapters what you want to know about of my channel. First thing I'm going to explain about is Sam Birkinshaw TV series, a science fiction and adventure YouTube series that's been running since 24th of September 2014. The show stars me as the fictional version of myself. The character, unlike me in real life, is a hero type character. He's quirky, a funny guy and a madman who's a human being but has a DNA of another species called Trenzilords, originated from the planet Trenzilor not to be confused with Trent Zalor from Doctor Who. So he can do what they can do, like resurrect himself back to life. When he dies nine times, he has ten lives. We see him sort of like creating your own avatar in a video game. He has a spaceship that looks like a blue shed, and inside looks like an ordinary bedroom with a tiny TARDIS console on the desk. It can travel anywhere in space and multiverse including movie slash TV franchises. Whenever it gets damaged, it can always repair itself and renew all the interior design as well as the exterior. The show is about characters from another universe and franchises including Doctor Who, Marvel, Star Wars, DC, Lord of the Rings, etc. Coming out of their worlds into another using a gateway like Primeval series where dinosaurs went through anomaly from their time to present day. The show not only crossing over with characters, but the scenes and soundtracks are used due to set in the same franchise as LEGO Dimensions video game created by Dewey Roberts and John Burton. The game is set at the same time as the events of Season 3. There's also a matter of time where characters can turn into a few forms like from their normal form to animation, cartoon and LEGO. Like Supernatural where Sam and Dean get teleported into Scooby-Doo world and turn themselves into a cartoon. And the soundtracks for example. You need to check the news to see what's going on with the world. I managed to pick Let's save the universe and uh, have a black current. Oh. Oh no. We're too late. We're in holy world. I need to get to my ship and bring weapons. This is so cool. Whoa, what the hell is that over there? A sea monster planet. It's not me! Something's interfered with my shit. The series was called TV Show, which I don't know why I was thinking calling it that. Maybe because to aim for it to be titular protagonist of the show because now it sounded cringy and childish, I changed it to TV series to make it sound better, more scripted and sci-fi series vibe. Despite there is a TV show on the logo, my advice is if you ever watch the show, watch the recent episodes first because in the old ones, I never hit my stride at the time. I use what I can and try to make it entertaining, taking inspiration from Harry Hill's TV burp. There's also a spin-off series called Agent of Universe with Lego characters focusing on Universe Agent called Rowan Fendel. His job is to save the universe that he lives in. The first season is set in a month after the events of my series season 8. And these are the series in chronological order including the specials that links between seasons. But like I said I advise you to watch the recent episodes first to those who haven't seen any of them before looking back at the <laughs> embarrassing old episodes. <laughs> I hope that explains a lot. Next thing to discuss is my Spider-Man fan film series. As we look back in my old Spidey videos, it was all put on a suit, grab a camera and play Spider-Man. But I unlisted them all because they're dated, not really proper fan films and also to avoid confusing the audience. The fact that I got praise for my performance as Peter Parker aka Spider-Man and also I always wanted to make my own Spidey films starring me so I recreated my Spider-Man series with better effects, acting, faithfulness to the comic books, story, 
even the new suit and everything. These what I call canon, and they're definitely my Spider-Man fan film universe. Of course, I played a few different roles, including David Sell from Zombie Buster series, taking inspiration from Resident Evil. Just to give you a heads up, they're not suitable for children. I also play Theodore Flynn in Tron fan film, Return of the Games, set in a few years after the events of Tron Legacy, and he's related to Kevin and Sam Flynn. On stage, I play Sebastian in the 2017 Tempest play, based off the Shakespeare story. Scarecrow in 2018 Wizard of Oz play. I also played a chorus in 2023 Snow White play. Other than acting and filmmaking, I also do Doctor Who retrospectives, my favourite TV show of all time. I wanted to do a video series where I talk about every episode, which are productions, stories, characters, and my love of the show. Taking inspiration from cinema wins, like everything great about the episodes. I also included the spin-off series like Sarah Jane Adventures, Torchwood, Class K9, etc. I like to keep it as family-friendly retrospectives as I can, apart from the Torchwood and Class. They'll be aimed for 15 and over like both of those shows, which I think it's appropriate. It'll tell you on the opening sequence anyway. I do the revival era in the order of release dates, as it's more fun that way and classic era in any random order, just like how they number DVD files that I used to collect as a kid. I do movie analysis videos, where it's similar but talking about each movies, as I really do love movies, and also love to do video games and other TV shows also. You'll find that they're not critical reviews, they're just little documentaries as I don't really like saying negative opinions and criticising them. Plus there's already people out there that's done that, especially that I wanted to be an actor. I don't think for me, criticising films and TV shows are appropriate. So, that's my channel, to give you some updates on future videos. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the channel.